奏まみれこの街の演奏だまあたまま一度ついておいで世界中魅了するほどに豪華なジャパン一番ジャンプランサーうちらの出番テリヤキボーイズインのプレイスビー見せてやろうリジナル VRP メリメリダイメンズダイメレンバックファラマニウィスタンガレン Hate me, fry me, bake me, try me, all the above cause you can't get in I don't want no problem, because me professional Make you shake your cats, thank you, haters take it personal Like a Canada, tight heads, oh, nail dog, oh, let's go, not notch my money, let's go Just such kitsch, my ozen, let's go, let's go To hit a little up, oh, love a color, let's go Let's go, 20億万個、ちょないにこう New Dark Soul, 私のペンポン Of torches, but that's just me. There's advantages to having letting your torch burn out. There's disadvantages, but there are advantages. Bloody you can matches. mouse over the thing at the top middle of the screen. It will tell you what the uh, what stuff there is. Is that a multiplayer game? No. No. Then why are you playing? Um. So. A couple mods I recommend for that game, Rory.、Mm -hmm. uh, the unofficial palette expansion mod or pack. And then.、Um, you can also get curio hints if you want, but if you are worried about feeling a little bit spoiled, you don't have to get that one.、Uh, the trinket rebalance mod is really nice just because. It render, makes a lot of trinkets that are otherwise completely useless actually kind of useful.、Uh, and it's not, it doesn't overbalance, it doesn't make too many things horribly broken.、Mm. Um, if you want to add some more 
Um, I, I, I advise that you're careful with which, which class mods you add to the game, because most uh, class mods that other people design for the game tend to be a little bit overpowered. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, the two I have right now, one is obviously overpowered, it's the vampire class. That one's kind of overpowered, but it's kind of counterbalanced a little bit that they can't go into a party with religious people, which in my opinion are some of the best characters. And the seer, which is one that just came out. Uh, but yeah. But uh, I really just recommend the palette expansion mod. Um... Um, also, this mod, let me copy this mod and send it to you. Oh, he shot me in the head, you bastard. So there's two different ones here. So I'm going to send you both. Because it's based off your preference. Okay. okay. Um, one of these only makes it so you can just carry like a few items that should really honestly be stackable like just makes it so they're stackable like uh like mm -hmm. quest items the other one makes the whole game a little bit easier by making it so you can carry mo a little bit more of a lot of items um balancing out a little bit so the second one there will make the game a little bit easier basically make it a little bit easier to get things like uh, heirlooms and gold, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Just by making their stack size a little bit higher. And so that's the second one. The first one is just, like, makes it so um, quest items are basically stackable and a couple other small things that really should be stackable but for some weird reason aren't. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Uh, but those are the two that I've kind of used in the past. Okay. And they both work. But I don't recommend... This isn't one of those games that I really recommend modding up a whole bunch. I recommend keeping it vanilla-y-ish for the most part. Um, but yeah, get the palette expansion. It's fun. You, you get more colors for you guys. You make them look fancy. <laughs> 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 Um, but, uh, yeah. Honestly, I would just recommend playing with the base classes until you get maybe a little bit, like, uh, farther in the game, or at least familiar with all the classes that are in the base game. And then maybe adding, like, one or two modded classes. Okay. Ag again, I recommend experimenting more. Because uh, there are some really cool, unique ways you can use classes in ways that you don't know, you don't really expect at first, you know. Like one of my very favorite ways to use the uh, Highwayman class mm -hmm. is to use him as like a kind of. Um, so his, I forget what it's called, but his forward thrust attack, where he moves forward one space, right? So I'll stick him in the second slot from the front and then have him do that on the first round and then any AOE attacks that include him in the uh, hit, he will repost and do damage to the person who did that, right? Which means that over the course of the fight, he ends up doing a ton of damage. And then after I get him into the first slot with his repost uh, thrust attack or his thrust attack that activates repost, I guess I should say, then I use his point-blank shot attack, which does massive damage to whichever enemy is in the front of the enemy formation. 
Um, so I use a mix of those two, which when I first started playing the game, I kind of thought the Highwayman was one of the more useless classes. And now it's probably like one of my very favorites. Uh, so don't forget to experiment with them. Especially when you start equipping them with like different stuff, you 